Suzuki Jimny is not what it seems. Its bug-eyed, perpendicular styling implies urban runaround, but this is actually a hardcore 4x4 in bonsai form. It apes the original Jimny's look and is equally rugged, with a separate ladder frame chassis, coil spring rigid axles and selectable four-wheel drive with high and low ratio transmission. It has mountain goat-like off-road capabilities and an enthusiastic niche following. One dealer we spoke to said he could sell far more than his allocation, but he'd heard that the Jimny's emissions of 178 grams of CO2 per kilometre impacted on Suzuki's overall carbon footprint so numbers are being restricted. The car's considerable off-road talents result in basic on-road manners. The low-geared steering, designed to reduce thumb-breaking kickback on dirt tracks, is not the acme of precision. The ride is harsh. The car is sensitive to crosswinds, and there's a fair bit of mechanical thrash at speed. But perhaps saying all this is missing the point. Performance is leisurely. Suzuki doesn't even bother with a 0-60 time. It runs out of puff at a screaming 90 miles an hour and returned a reliable 40 miles a gallon. The interior is made with tough materials, and the car's exposed hinges and visible spot welds are part of its aesthetic appeal. The rear seats are best for children. The boot, when they're up, is tiny, but fold them down and you'd have room for a sheep or two. Our near 18 grand SZ5 all grip had kit including automatic headlamps, heated front seats, lane departure warning, electronic stability systems, hill hold and hill descent. This is a unique utility vehicle that can leave most soft roaders for dead on the rough, which means on tarmac this uncompromising little car is less cute than it looks.